It's nothing pure. Yeah. That dude was a walking abomination, man. Come. Okay? That's what that dude was, man. Give me uh Ciroc 15 and 13. He was a walking abomination, man. That's what he was, man. He gonna say the Lord is an Arab. Man, what type of madness is that, man? He gonna say the Lord was a Muslim. Man, you out your mind, man. Come. That's a walking that's a walking abomination, man. Go ahead. It's rock 15 and 13. The Lord hated all abominations, and they that fear Yahweh love it not. Yeah. Well, that's why we ain't got no love for him, but we know he'll walk in the abomination. You see? Ah. This uh It says, this is 817. Sirach 817. 817. Yeah, give me Psalms uh, 15 and 16. Sirach 8 and 17. Sirach 8 and 17. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. He cannot keep counsel, man. He can't keep the plans of your how about you now with shot, man. That's why he was saying what he was saying, man. Stupid. I told him he didn't believe in the Bible. And the most I confirmed it quick. Quick, quick, quick. Hey, right. what did I say? 8 17? Sirach. Read it again. God. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 8. I'm finna give it back to you. Verse 17. That wasn't the brother read. That wasn't the brother read. Go ahead. Give it back to you. All right. Right there. Yeah. 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 Sirach 8 17. All right, this is Rock 8 and 17. Consult not with a fool, for he cannot keep counsel. He cannot keep counsel. This is Psalm chapter 50, verse 16. But unto the wicked, the Most High said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? Take the covenant in their mouth, man. How much they believe in the Bible? Man, they don't believe in the Bible, man. They don't believe in it, man. And two-thirds of our own people don't believe in it because they lack faith. Okay? Mm -hmm. They destined to be destroyed, man. Why the lone so-called white man? Why? Because they've been hit with that strong delusion, man. To believe in that, to, to believe in them false doctrines, man, that the so-called white man bring out, man. Right. He said the Lord was Islam. You out of your damn mind, man. That meth got you down, man. That meth backfired. So called white man put that meth out there to get you Negro, it backfired. Got all these Edomites. <laughs> huh. uh, but go ahead. God, give me all. 2 Corinthians 2 and 14. Give me one of those Proverbs at 28. About controls on to all of it. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Now thanks be unto the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. which always causes us to triumph in Mashiach. See, thanks to Yahweh who causes us to triumph in Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai was the spirit, this is the word. When he came up, what did we use? Simple word, what? Triumph over what? Our enemy, man. See how that was? That was a simple triumph over our enemy right there. <laughs> just using them, you know, and we didn't even really have to go. We just spoke the word. And you see how stupid he was, man. Huh? You no. Know? We triumph in Yahweh Shai, man, because this is, like I said, hey, these words are spirit and they are truth, man. Go ahead. <laughs> this is 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Now, thanks. Be unto the most high, which always causes us to triumph mm -hmm. in Yahweh Shai, and make it manifest the Savior of his knowledge by Savior. us. Yeah, Savior. Yeah. So like it, manif manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. Son, Savior, this is, like you said, this is like, when you read that word Savior, that's a fragrance, right? Of his, his knowledge. So it's like the knowledge is a sweet fragrance, man. Right? Go 
Verse 15, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. Mm -hmm. For we are unto Yahweh, a sweet savor of Yahweh shot. God, who is that? The elect. We that sweet savor, man. We that sweet fragrance, man. Go ahead. Verse 15, for we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ. Mm -hmm. In them that are savored, and in them that perish. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Verse 16. To the one we are the savor of death unto death, and to the other the savor of life unto oh, life. God. And who is sufficient for these things? God. Who are sufficient for these things? Who, for, who is sufficient for life unto life? The elect. Two thirds of one to death to death, man. They the ones that are sufficient unto the death, man. Like we were speaking, the cats in the barbershop, those are the dudes that are going to be for death. Verse 17, for we are not as many which corrupt the word of Yahweh, but as of sincerity, so like it, but as of sincerity, but as of Yahweh in the sight of the power, speak we in Yahweh Shah. Uh, we speak in Yahweh Shah, we speak the word that Yahweh Shah spoke, you know. We strongly believe we are the men that have been sent forth to push this knowledge in the end before the destruction comes. The Lord said I will send you pastors, man. Uh. According to my own heart, we do believe we are those men, man. Two-thirds not going to get it, man. Like the brothers mentioned earlier, hey, Jake, them eyes are closed, man. And that's a cold, that's a cold thing, man, to see how the Lord has closed these Jake's eyes to what's really going on. Shit be going on right in their face and they don't even see it. They trust in idols, man. Huh? Give me with Solomon uh, 15 and 15. They trust in idols, man. God. That's why they act, man, and they lack faith, man. They hit like them strong delusions and they trust hey. in them idols, man. You said that it made me think I just watched uh, the whole x -Men. Apocalypse said, yeah, I'm going to destroy y'all because y'all trust me, y'all idols. Uh, hey, man, they trust in idols, man. <laughs> Two times a day, trust me. This is an idol, man. You got to hold this up yourself, man. Yeah. This can't even breathe. Yeah. Okay? Wisdom of Solomon, uh, 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 it's 15 with, to 15. It's Wisdom of Solomon, 15 to 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be God. That's two mm. thirds of Jake, man. Mm. See what you got right there, read it again. It's Wisdom of Solomon, 15 to 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Read it one more time. Hold up, slow, slow it down. I now. guess. Let me get this, let me get this out. Let me get cool. this out, man. These Negroes, man. Yeah. Hey, what we got? There you go. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, 15 and 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. See that? Jake in the all that madness, man. Yeah. Everything up here, man. Well, Jake well, in it. Got you got to Jake in every philosophy up here, man. God. Okay? Oh. Go ahead. I'll read it again. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Go ahead. Which neither have the use of eyes, I mean, yeah, which neither have the use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers of hands to handle, and as for their feet, they are slow to go. They are slow to go, man. <laughs> That's right. Keep going. All right, verse 16. For a man made them, and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. He that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. Because that spirit that's in you belongs to the Heavenly Father. Because he is the Father of Spirit. You borrowed your own spirit, and here you is making idols, creating them, and then saying to tell God, worshiping them like these heathens. Okay? That's why the Most High gonna destroy two thirds of you Negro like he knows the man. God. You see? And that's that's the main reason why the brother, when he said, when he was mentioning about the real Jew or the Negro, what they were sticking in their head, the reason why they say the so-called white man is a is a, uh is a Jew because of this. Because of this image, man. They don't understand that's spirit that's spiritual fornication, man. Come on. 
you basically committing adultery on the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? When you believe in this madness, man. When you believe in uh, uh, these heathen, heathen uh, idols, man. God. You basically commit adultery on the heavenly father and his son. That's right. spiritual fornication. That's right. Okay? I want to say it, say it in the same chapter. When you read up. 14, 1 and 14. Uh, read that again, Alright. Uh, this uh Wisdom of Solomon, 15 and 15. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods, which neither have the eye, neither have the use of eyes to see. Nor nose to draw breath, nor ears to hear, Go ahead. nor fingers of hands to handle, and as for their feet, they are slow to go. Verse 16, for man made them, and he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. But, but no man can make a God like unto himself. Stupid. Okay. Completely stupid, man. Yeah, it's more. Yeah. Uh, verse seventeen: For being mortal, he worketh a dead thing with wicked hands. See that? That's wickedness, man. To worship, to worship them heathen idols, man. Uh, you know, and to teach your kids to believe in them idols. Man, that's wicked. That's wicked, man. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. Read up, read up the, uh, up there. <coughs> this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 9. <coughs> For the ungodly and his ungodliness are both alike hateful unto your power. Go ahead. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Yeah, so so-called white man gonna be punished for putting up this, putting up this idol. In deceiving uh, uh, our people with this idol, he's he gonna be punished for that. That's right. You see, if I ask, if I ask a so-called white person that's walking by here, give me the history on this guy, they can't even do it. That's right. And then they act like they don't know who put it up. Uh. <laughs> Read. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fourteen, verse ten. For that which is made shall be punished together with him that made it. Go ahead. Verse eleven. Therefore, even upon the idols of the Gentiles shall there be a visitation because in the creature of Yahweh there are become an abomination and stumbling blocks to the souls of men and a snare to the feet of the unwise. A snare to the feet of the unwise. So them guys are unwise, man. Them guys he was talking to, they all was clothed, they didn't have faith, and they was unwise, man. You see what you got, man? You see the situation and the predicament that our people are in? Con. You see what's going on? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication. Spiritual fornication. Matter of fact, give me uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28 and hold Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. Right, you, you homo. You a homosexual. Come on. Homosexual. Right on. Right, you ain't tough, man. You ain't tough. <laughs> you are. You ain't tough. Keep walking. You ain't tough. You ain't tough. That drink got you like that. Right, he ain't tough. Right, right, he ain't tough. Right, you better get your boy. He ain't tough. Right, you not tough, man. Keep on walking down the street. You not tough, man. You gonna find out. You not tough. Up. I'm anxious. Hey, you gonna find out, man. Hey, keep walking down the street. That's your best bet, man. Don't get embarrassed in front of all these people, man. Hey, don't get embarrassed in front of all these people. Keep on walking, man. Have 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 a have your uh, uh drink your life away. Y'all have a blessing. Okay. Hey, get you want your blessing, boy, man. Go ahead. Cut. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication and the invention of them, the corruption of life. You see? I, I, man. I, man. Wait, dude, I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. He ain't quick enough, man. Dude dance with the elephant. I don't dance with the elephant. That's right. So he ain't quick enough. 
see what I'm saying? He danced with the elephants. I don't dance with the elephants. Okay? Elephants are slow. He ain't quick enough, man. What? What are you motherfucking eating my squat? All right, man. Read what you got. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 12. For the devising of idols was the beginning of spiritual fornication, and the invention of them, the corruption of life. That's spiritual fornication. So there you go right there. So when you believe on, so when you believe on them idols, like this right here, that's spiritual fornication. Okay? That's spiritual fornication when you believe on that. Okay? So you commit an adultery. On the heavenly father and his son. That's what you're doing. Right? Okay. This is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 16. Thus, in process of time, an ungodly custom growing strong was kept as law, and graven images were worshipped by the commandments of kings. See that? And, he, and Esau, he is the king of the earth. He's a leader. Okay? That's right. He governed the earth starting with the rock child. Okay? So that vibration is pushed out, okay? So two thirds of our people, right? Believe in that madness, okay? So read what you got. Uh, uh, this is Jeremiah. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Solomon. Seven and what? Oh, okay. Yeah. You said seven and what? 20, 20, 26. Okay. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, seven and 26. <clears throat> For she is the brightness of the heaven. started at uh, 28. All right. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon 7 to 28. For the most high love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Go ahead. Uh, verse 29. Okay, verse 28. Right. For the most high love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Love of none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. So the most high hate abominations, man. God. That dude's a walking abomination, man. He hate him. God. And the most high hate two thirds. Why? Because they don't dwell in wisdom. Okay? Go ahead. God. This is, uh, yeah, more on there. But... That's it. Oh, it's, 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 it's Jeremiah 10 and 8. But they are altogether brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanity. We'll read that again. It says, Jeremiah 10 and 8. They are altogether brutish, meaning they're dull hearted, right? And foolish, and the stock. Right? It's a wooden mention mean wooden idol is a doctrine of vanity. So what they believe in is a doctrine of vanity. You already say that what they believe in is, is sit she's supposure, man. That's what they believe in. So that's a doctrine of vanity, man. It's it's worthless. Right? Believing in that doctrine is gonna get you deaf, man. That's why you should come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know, give me your own. Proverbs uh, 28. Uh, I, got you. I, I got a little precept right quick. Uh -huh. This uh Job 28 and 28. Mm -hmm. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord Yahweh, that is wisdom. The fear of the Lord Yahweh is wisdom, man. This is the wisdom to fear the Lord, to reverence the Lord, to get in his word and to have faith, man. This is the wisdom, man. The wisdom is not going to science class or a math class and letting the weirdos teach you sociology and psychology. To make it in this society, that's not it. The wisdom is from the Lord. These scriptures, man. Go ahead. And to depart from evil is understanding. To depart from evil is understanding. To get away from them bullshit doctrines. To get away from them damn idols, man. That's understanding, man. You know? We already know ain't no hope for the Edomites. Come. But our people, like you said, they follow, two thirds of them gonna follow Esau. Man. That's right. Go ahead, what you got? Uh, this uh, Proverbs 28 and 4. Mm -hmm. uh, they that forsake the law, praise the wicked. It said, they that forsake the law, praise the wicked. Like we was going, like the like dudes in the barbershop. Matter of fact, I was looking at a thing where that dumbass nigga Snoop Dogg, somebody, he was tired of seeing slavery moving. Nigga, you, you, you praising the wicked, nigga. You forsake the law, man. But then on top of that, they getting tired of watching slavery movies. Hey, Esau keyed it. See, see, that's the problem with these fucking simple ass niggas, man. They don't understand, man. When them, when them movies come out like that, when you're reading the history of the Babylonian Empire, guess what Belgian Chesar was doing, man, before the writing on the wall came? 
he was celebrating and he was making mockery of the uh -huh. Heavenly Father. 